have you ever wondered how you can develop amazing charisma and how you can be more likable in front of other people? If so, today's video is for you because I'm going to be sharing with you this one big idea. For those of you who are naturally introverts, kind of like my previous self and my natural state when I'm not in an empowering confidence state, okay, because I've trained myself to be able to, for example, public speak and stuff. Um, this video is for you. Because if that is you naturally, guess what? You're going to find this very, very interesting. At the same time, it will resonate on a deeper level. Now, before I reveal that, I want to remind you to make sure to turn on the bell notification symbol on YouTube. And you can do that by following the button below. All you have to do is just tick it on. And what that'll do is it will send you notifications whenever there's a new video out by Success Insider, which is us. And that way you'll be able to commit to life mastery and create the life you're truly born to live. After all, I'm uploading free uploads every single week just for you so you can grow and create the empowering life I believe you're truly born to live. So make sure to do that right now. And without further ado, how can you develop charisma? Well, if you would have asked me that question when I began a decade ago, I would have said, I, I think you're asking the wrong person. Um, <laughs> but today, people seem to turn to me when I'm speaking on stages and they say, Tim, you're such a natural. How do you, for example, why are you so charismatic? How are you so charismatic? All of the questions in between, okay? Now, one of the things I'll say is <laughs> behind every, let's say, um, natural, unless they are truly natural, I'll, I'll, I'll say there was years upon years of practice, trial and error, and that's what I'm going to realize today. Because when I, for example, began to transform my confidence, I over complimented my confidence. And so it went from, for example, <laughs> one side not talking to anybody, and now everybody is hating me because nobody likes somebody who's cocky and arrogant, if that makes sense. So it's about understanding what makes somebody relatable and likable. Now at the same time, before I reveal what this one thing is, I want you to realize you cannot make everybody like you and you should not aim to do that. How you're gonna be magnetic to other people is by owning who you really are. Now, the reason why I don't like to chuck that, that, that statement out a lot is because people then turn around and say, Tim, I'm just being myself then, I'm just gonna be an introvert. It's about being your best self because you see, there, there's multiple identities that you carry. I, I like to basically compare human beings nowadays to like chameleons. You go to work, you wear one mask. You go to uh, you go to see your friends, you wear one mask. You see your family, you wear one mask. There's so many masks, so many identities you're carrying. The question is, who are you really without these masks? Who are you really at the core, the best version of you? Because when I began to express who I really was to the world, when I'm speaking on stage, all of a sudden, now people are saying, wow, I really like you too. But when I'm on the stage, when I'm, for example, speaking um, to hundreds of people all across the globe, I'm not trying to be liked. What I'm trying to do is just show people who I am and realizing that there are gonna be people who hate you no matter what you do. And you should not aim to be liked by those people. That should not be your aim. Your aim should be just amplifying your core until you get yourself to a stage where people who are like you begin to love you. If you look at any influencers that you look up to, online, offline, what they've done is they discovered who they are and what they are, they are polarizing because their core amplifying themselves. And so the people who hate them begin to hate them even more, but people who like them begin to love them. That's what I want you to realize first, because this one big idea I'm gonna share with you, it may not seem like a big idea to you, but I want you to realize knowing and not doing is the same as not knowing. So it's not about what you know, it's about what you're doing. This one thing is being willing to embarrass yourself. <laughs> now, how did that sit with you? Because when I share this, people are like, oh, really Tim? But I need to keep up my social image. Let me tell you a quick story. It's interesting, when I was speaking on the stage for the first time, I was invited to a multi-speaker event, uh, which was back in November 2016. I've not been speaking on stages for long. And I basically was invited to speak on the stage alongside this, this other person. His name is Derek Redmond. And he's a, he's a world-renowned Olympian, not because, for example, he was one of the best, but because there was something that happened during one of the races. And you may notice this video. It went viral, reaching hundreds of millions of people. What ha ends up happening to Derek? He's running across the racing track. 
and around the halfway point he got a cramp in his leg and so he fell down and he's screeching in pain agony and yet he suddenly picks himself back up and now he's limping to the finish line his dad joins him they're all in tears and he just does whatever it takes to go through the finish line people saw that video and they shared that like crazy in fact Derek came onto that stage that day and he inspired the hell out of every single one of us what I want to realize is this we don't resonate with robots we resonate with human beings what that means is being willing to be vulnerable be willing to show that you are a little bit clumsy if that's you because if you're hiding that it's very hard to relate to a robot when it's so perfect and nobody is perfect in its own rights as human beings we've got our own flaws maybe the story you've gone through the past whatever may be some clumsy traits and until you have the confidence to express that to the world you're going to find it to find it very hard to connect with other people People often ask him, how have you been able to you know, connect with world-renowned leaders? How have you been able to meet the president and so forth? I did it because when I'm meeting them, I'm acting as a freaking human being. I'm not saying, hey, here's a business card, go take it. I'm saying, I'm asking questions to figure out who are they really? And when they feel that H2H connections, because I believe humans on the subconscious level, we connect on a heart to heart level. And that's why sometimes we get the, for example, the intuition telling us, oh, we should not stay with this person. And yet we, we listen to the little voice in our head, don't we? Which is fear-based saying, oh, but I do want to let go. And then a couple of months down the line, something happens and you're like, oh my God, I wish I would have gone out of this bad relationship earlier. You see, our heart just knows, especially when it's speaking to somebody, whether or not they're being real or whether or not they're being fake. And that's why you can check out more videos to do confidence out there. In fact, I've created a lot of videos to do confidence on Success Inside. You can go check it out. But what you'll find, the thing that makes you the most charismatic, the thing that makes you be able to influence the most amount of people is about being willing to show your character flaws. You see, you don't look up to superheroes and you don't look up to them because they're so perfect. You resonate with these superhero stories because they've got some sort of weakness. Think about Superman. What's his weakness? Kryptonite. If he didn't have that, it'd be very hard to resonate with a freaking robot like Superman. So you got to ask yourself, what are you hiding back from the world? And how can you reveal more of those character flaws, the, the human traits that people resonate with? In fact, I know somebody closely at the beginning of his podcast, he'll always share some, some fun fact about himself. And he said, he said this once, um, how he was sharing it at the beginning of the podcast, he screams like a little girl when he sees a spider. And now he was speaking on the stage one day, and afterwards he got off the stage and was walking around the convention center, and somebody comes up to him and says, oh, I don't remember your name, but I just want to say, I scream like a girl when I see a spider as well. Nice to meet you. <laughs> humans connect with humans. That's what I want to realize, Insider. Stop looking for these hacks and start really exposing who you really are to work. At the same time, know, for example, what you should share with your therapist versus what you share with general people, okay? So I'm not saying just reveal everything, but I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying be willing to expose human qualities that you believe is appropriate. And what you'll find is people begin to be drawn to you. It's almost like those people, have you ever seen somebody who just oozes charisma? They haven't even opened their mouth and you're just drawn to those people? It's because they are being their authentic, authentic self. They've let go of all of these masks and they've owned them. That's what you need to do inside there. So make sure you go out there, be who you really are, deep, deep inside the best version of self. Why? Because you're born to win. Hope you found this video helpful inside there. If so, be sure to share this video with your friends and loved ones so we can educate and transform the world together. Now, just want to say if you like this video be sure to like this video comment below in regards to any questions feedback you may have and as always follow your heart my friend and take action and let's go create a life you're truly born to live i'll see you on the next video soon take care